Yeah, looks like uh, it's pretty pretty different decks when you're looking at the <laughs> prize cards right now. <laughs> Don't really know what to expect. Looks like Travis is on Duraludon with the hyper <laughs> potions and everything, but that's uh, no, these are the same decks, ladies and gents. Yeah, they're trying to use Hisuian Gudra's V-Star Rolling Iron Attack. It does 200 damage for three energy, a water, a metal, and a colorless. Pretty easy to charge up with Arceus V-Star. And it reduces 80 damage going into your opponent's next turn. So your whole goal is to just get these V-Star Pokemon in play, deal some damage, and hope your opponent can't deal that much damage back. Yeah, if, you're, uh, if your opponent is dealing 200 damage, which is a pretty standard number in the TCG right now, you reduce that, drop to 120, and there's a card called Hyper Potion, which is pretty good. Yeah, and the prizes we saw. Yeah, <laughs> well, I mean, maybe, maybe Travis won't see them, but uh, Manuel may be able to give us a presentation. And right off the bat, we are graced with the presence of a Radiant Gardevoir. Yeah, one of the new Radiant Pokemon out of Lost Origin. It is really just for that ability to reduce 30 damage done by your opponent's V Pokemon attacks. So it's all just about damage reduction, healing, and, you know, good old Arceus V-Star fun. <laughs> that's, that's what I'm here for. Looking at the opening hand there for Travis, plenty of ways to get these basic Pokemon into play, exactly what you're looking for as an Arceus deck. Don't know if we saw the opening energy, though, and that can be the, uh, the downfall of a lot of Arceus builds. It's always really dependent on the opening hand scene. Uh, just the, the right mix of cards. Now, both of these decks do play Melanie as a way to kind of cheat in that extra energy from your discard, attaching it to a Pokemon V, and then that way you can double turbo. And uh, it does take a lot to get together, but you do have a power like that Starbirth from Arceus V-Star to search your deck for any two cards. So depending on if you're missing a certain piece or not, that could be very beneficial. All right, I lied. There's a water energy. That's just awesome. <laughs> so that's exactly what you're looking for. And honestly, as you were saying, you can see that discarded just now. Uh, the Melanie is lined up for next turn. So it's going to look a little silly passing with no energy in play. But I think, uh, I think Travis is basically telegraphed, hey, next turn I'm going in. I do have to say, Slip and Trip is probably one of my favorite attack names <laughs> on that Hisui and Gujra V. Uh, I don't think we'll really see it too, too often. Yeah, it sounds like some and one mixtape. <laughs> 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 nice, nice, nice move there. So there is just a pass of the turn after getting a Radiant Gardevoir of Travis's own, that loving veil ability. Reduces 20 damage, uh, not the 30 like I thought, you know. It's just yeah, count. Listen, all right, 20 is plenty. Yeah, yeah. Now it is up to Manuel to figure out what you actually need to do here. And that step number one is probably going to find an Arceus V. Yep, looks like there is uh, the option to thin before the gear. Going to forego that. And is there a brutal punish? Yes. Ooh. That's fine. He's got, he's got, a, <laughs> he's got a research in hand. That was a calculated miss. <laughs> Honestly, uh, there, there's kind of some point to, if you want to use the Ultra Ball and the Quick Ball to just discard that Pokegear. You already have that Professor's Research in hand. Now, kind of a missed opportunity, but when you're trying to hope for a different supporter, you know. Yep. Maybe Marnie was uh, something to potentially be thought of there. There are three copies for Manuel in this list, and he knows that there's surely a Melanie on the other side about to be played. So just a little bit of a, a hiccup, but there was a boss's orders that could have been grabbed. I don't want to discard a boss's orders. Oh, no. <laughs> boss's orders in hand, too. Crystal Cave is going to be one of those stadiums in this matchup that is beneficial for both players. Uh, I think that is the only stadium between the two. So that is in play for good. Okay. Yeah, that's a, a lot of reductions. We're going to see... Uh, Usually, we're over here adding up damage, amplifiers by way of power tablets and whatnot. Instead, it's, we're going to start with a big number and go down. So if you want to pull out your calculators at home and place subtraction with us, it's going to be a fun one. Intrepid Sword will end the turn for Manuel there, netting three cards off the top of the deck. And now Travis starts off with the Melanie, kind of like you, you plan this out. 
Yeah, <laughs> I, th <laughs> I think we saw this coming. Uh, I did not see Ew. the rest of this hand coming. This is terrible. Uh, there was yeah. no way to get Arceus V Star, and really that was the missing key. That would have that would have unlocked everything. We, we would have seen Starbirth, double Turbo, and a fully charged Gudra ready to go. Instead, it is big pass, big sad. Escape rope to start things off for Manuel. Going to get that Radiant Gardevoir out of the active spot, and that's probably one of the best cards that you can have right now in this position. Uh, we do see, uh, with a prior glimpse in the Manuel's hand, that Arceus V-Star is in there, along with that Gudra V-Star. Yeah, this is brutal. Travis really has to make a, a tough decision here. Obviously, understanding that healing the Gudra is certainly a possibility, but there is also a big possibility that you are going to lose your Radiant Gardevoir this turn. Uh, the Arceus V-Star is lined up, ready to go. Starburst coming down. We're going to see that double turbo energy, and that is going to be a turn two attack by way of Trinity Nova, removing the Radiant Gardevoir, and going to be uh, limiting some of those uh, defense tools for Travis now. And this is where the, the big difference in these lists will come into play, and I think it's the fact that Manuel plays that Zacian V, was able to net three cards from the top of the deck turn one. That's just so many more resources you have to play with. Meanwhile, Travis not actually playing the Zacian V in the deck, opting for the Zamazenta V, trying to counter some of those VMAX in play. Yeah, and I'm sure that was beneficial potentially in getting to this spot, but it is not going to help you take three points just yet. After that star birth, we see a quick ball discard that Crystal Cave. The Crystal Cave is going to be the best discard. Uh, you know, yeah, not, this not too bad. Just When you see that card, just read it as battle VIP pass for the rest <laughs> of the game. <laughs> and here we see that Trinity Nova getting the knockout. We're going to see one prize card for Manuel. But the biggest thing is you get to attach those three basic energies from your deck to your Pokemon V any way you like. And it looks like just the, yeah, all three on Gudra V-Star. Not bad. Yeah, you can already see just how big this Pokemon can get. The big charm, the reductions from Radiant Gardevoir, the reductions from the attack, and, of course, the healing power. So this is, there's so much potential for this Pokemon to remain in the active spot for a long time. Well, Travis did draw a Professor's Research off the top of the deck, so... Now a little bit more play. Do we see an Arceus uh, V-Star? You got to be kidding me. At I least there's an not. energy. But that's not okay. That is, this is, this is a nightmare scenario. Uh, taking, uh, I mean, losing th these turns right now where you can get some pretty relevant damage onto a Pokemon like that Arceus V-Star, that is really tough. Of course, the one big benefit here is you finally have your your uh, Suing Gudra lined up, ready to go, but you you lost a lot to get here. And your opponent's going to have two Suing Gudra V stars powered up by the end of this turn. Is that better than one? It's more. <gasps> oh, there it is. Three energies lined up, ready to go. Going to see another Poke Gear from Manuel. Does he like what he sees? Well, I see a Marnie, and I like that. Well, my opponent still doesn't have an Arceus V-Star, so I don't know if I play it. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm, there are some pieces that Manuel would certainly like to uh, still line up. Maybe find boss's orders to hold on to so that you can uh, make sure that a, a Gudra never runs away from a potential knockout or something of that sort. So, And, of course, that one big charm would be a nice welcomed addition. Well, here we just see the attach of the water energy to that Hisui and Gudra V-Star. Trinity Nova, 180 damage. And now you got those two slimy boys just sitting on the bench ready to go. Yeah. We've substituted our skyscrapers for sad slimy boys, and I couldn't be happier. I think Travis could probably be a little happier. That's true. This is yeah, this is not ideal, but we do have the main attacker of the deck, Hisui and Gudra V-Star, moving up. We see a rolling iron ready to go and the additional energy. I think I know what that means. <laughs> that, is, that is some hyper potion foresight. 200 or tw 180 thanks to that loving veil from that radiant Gardevoir. But now you got that 80 damage reduction thanks to rolling iron. So going to be a little bit harder to really take down this Hisui and Gudra V-Star, but 
your opponent's going to be dealing with the same thing. Yeah, I think I think we're going to see a uh, a lot a lot of rolling going on over the next few turns, and uh, th this is where the the chess match comes into play. Now you need to make sure that your hand is ready to go, and uh, surely enough, Manuel understands that this is the time. Play that Marnie. Make sure that you have uh, an opportunity to. Uh, to find those additional cards to help you heal out of awkward situations and uh, boss's orders to chase down a Hisuian Gudra that might try to uh, get away from uh, potentially being knocked out. Well, off of that, Marnie, there's the double turbo energy and that hyper potion found a pretty, pretty good couple cards off that the, the five draw here. And now Travis is going to have to try to build up another attacker while trying to navigate things in this rolling iron mirror match, uh, having the ultra ball discards a couple supporters here. Yeah, Avery, not going to be an ideal play. Uh, there is. <laughs> <laughs> I think I know what would be the target. And yeah, just going to get some additional hit points onto that Arceus by way of evolution to the V-Star. One card in hand, and uh, it is going to continue play because there's a lot more cards coming. Professor's Research, I believe. Listen, Travis is just playing the five head move where you don't even need the star birth so you can save moisture star until the end game that's what i'm talking about <laughs> i'm a little jealous that you got to say moisture star before i did i, I saw my route <laughs> gotta go for it well there's plenty more play for travis now we see that second big charm maybe thinks about holding now decides eh, you're not playing scrapper you wouldn't do that to me right there is that Crystal Cave healing off 30 damage from all of your Dragon and Metal Pokemon. And Hisuian Gudra V-Star is a Dragon Pokemon, so trying to mitigate some damage there. And yeah, there you see, thanks to that Radiant Gardevoir and the Rolling Iron, just 100 damage coming from that Hisuian Gudra V-Star. Yep, we, we can take those. We can certainly take a few of those. And uh, with with the Crystal Cave uh, helping out, you can just heal that down to 70. And that means that you can take upwards of four of these hits before really having to, to worry about being knocked out. You add the inclusion of uh, the, the Hyper Potions as well, and uh, things get, get ugly. <laughs> All right, I think we're having a debate with Big Paracel, maybe, if uh, the Gudra puts the effect on the opposing Pokemon or itself. It does look like Gudra V-Star puts the Rolling Iron reduction on itself, so Big Paracel won't be able to actually prevent that. Always good to clarify. We've mentioned time and time again how important these judges are to the success of these tournaments and being put to good use there. Manuel, making sure to understand exactly how that works and says, you know what, eh, I don't really care anyways. I'm just going to throw away the parasol. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this doesn't work? Okay, yeah, I'll <laughs> discard it. It is a cute accessory, but I don't know if it's going to lead uh, to the path to victory. Just Gudra doing its best Mary Poppins impression. Was there no heal from the cave? Oh, no. That, okay. was, that was a misstep. We'll have to see if that comes into play later on. Uh, this whole game is about... Sneaking in as much damage as possible, so if you miss something like that, could come back to bite you. <laughs> Travis, Yuzi in the stadium. <laughs> Manuel <laughs> shakes his head and goes, oh, I could have done that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's smart. Oh, good card. My stadium. <laughs> I, 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 sh yeah, I should play that. Oh, I did. Oh, this is, again, just doing some math here. You don't have the Radiant Gardevoir of your own. It got knocked out, so you're not going to really be able to Oh. Looks like the 30 went back on. Interesting. Now, this is a... Uh, who who would have thought you'd use so much math in the Pokemon TCG, but it's actually how I learned how to count. Yeah, I, I, I just ask a friend. <laughs> With that double turbo energy attached to the active and the hyper potion, that is 120 damage off the Hisuian Gudra V Star. And now it is Manuel's turn. Uses that crystal cave. Okay, so I'm I'm assuming that this just the damage was was placed with the uh, the intention the of cave, cave already mind. being used. Okay, so that so that would make sense. Uh, once again, just 
<laughs> just just do it. <laughs> just do your actions. It's a lot easier for everyone to follow, and it makes sure that you don't have these awkward situations. But there we go. We are going to see the uh, the Hisui Gudra with just the one water energy taking a shot here. And this is uh, th these are awkward spots if you don't have the right cards in hand. And I don't I don't know if we see them just yet. Yeah, you do have access to that star birth, ah, but this is not how you want to do it. Oh no. <laughs> Considering Avery. the Avery can just look over and see there's a V-Star available. Going to heal first. Yeah, there is a V-Star available, Kyle. Yeah, Moisture, Moisture Star. Star. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, still probably just holding on to, uh, to hopes of using that really in, a, in this matchup. And wow, just yeah. The, just the pass. And now that Crystal Cave is going to tick down yet again. Just 20 damage left on that Hisui and Gujar V-Star from Manuel. The fifth energy to the that Hisui and Gudra. No, I don't. <laughs> Please enlighten me. An Avery of his own. There's no extra Pokemon for Travis to discard that Arceus V-Star anytime soon. And there we see the knockout. Manuel now down to three prizes in this mirror match and really taking full control, having two of the main attackers charged up in that Hisui and Gudra V-Star. Basically no damage on them as well, and Travis is really going to have to dig deep for this. Just a prize. Yep. Whenever you see your uh, uh, a player go down to three prize cards, you immediately think Roxanne. Is that something online? Not something to worry about here. Don't believe we see a copy in either list. So Listen, they're not expecting to lose. Yeah, so That's right. And it's a lie, so why would you even bother? Yeah. Going to see some thinning here, go for that Arceus V. And then the question is continually going to be asked of Travis, do you want to play Avery? <laughs> <laughs> the answer is always no, but are you supposed to play Avery <laughs> is, is the question. And that answer is no as well. <laughs> well there is that rolling iron yet again. Travis trying to keep things rolling, but... Seems to be rolling off a cliff. I don't know if I can cringe anymore. <laughs> Manuel, plenty of energies. Can surely take another hit before considering a hyper potion. Although in situations like this, you start to wonder, <laughs> do I just play my cards before I get Marnied or something weird? So uh, plenty of play still left. And uh, you got to expect rolling irons are just going to continually drop onto this Gudra and try to put some more pressure on Travis to maybe make an awkward decision. Well, it's just the fact that it's 120 damage versus <gasps> 100. He held out for the Marnie and it paid off. <laughs> so Marnie can find something like another energy hyper potion. We do know there's a couple hyper potion in the prizes. So because of that, actually, uh, not able to do Two. Oh, no, there's just the one. Okay. I think we see the high promotion energy. Yeah, yeah. That's okay. nice. The rest of the hand is oh, no, to that be is desired, uh, but at least there is a double, double ordinary rod. rod. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's no high promotion. Yeah, the, the gear art looked like a high promotion. Yeah, blame the art. I, I did. <laughs> <laughs> ordinary rod going to be played for Travis here, shuffling back. 1-1, uh, one, one, Gudra, V-Star, and two water energies, it seems like. Going to use that Crystal Cave yet again, healing 30 damage. And we're going to see 100 damage being placed on Manuel's active Syrian Gujar V-Star. I think I've seen that before. At least we're in a situation now where you start to wonder about the, uh, the Hyper Potion. I don't think we see it in Manuel's hand, and then you have to just wonder, is he going to push, try to get one step closer? Plenty of supporter options, it looked like. So uh, an opportunity. Looks like just one Hyper Potion in the discard pile there. Marnie going to be the choice. I don't care what's on the bottom of your deck. I care what the top five are. Hyper Potion is good. Yeah, you see that hiding out in Manuel's hand here. Has enough energy to use it and still attack with Rolling Iron. Also plays that big charm down for just some assurance. I'm a fan. Also, don't mind just holding the Hyper Potion. You're, you're not at risk of being knocked out. 
we do know the, the risk that comes along with that and the, uh, the card Marnie once more, just putting that back on the bottom of your deck, but so be it. Does not look like a Marnie hand here, at least for Travis. Uh, he's going to start things off with an Ultra Ball to find that Hisuian Gujra V. Going to try to get another one of these set up, hopefully. Yeah, we see the double turbo discard there. Uh, you start to wonder how many Hyper Potions you can realistically play. Uh, is it worth reducing your damage at any point uh, to just throw that on and then try to go find the Hyper Potion and not going to be uh, considered by Travis? Yeah, because that's what we need right now, more damage reduction. <laughs> <laughs> let, me, let me give you another <laughs> Radiant Gargamor. I'm sure this will be fine. Manuel reading the Zamazenta said, oh boy, is that, are you going to attack me with that? No, it is getting discarded with this professor's research. Yep. Tra Travis said, I don't need this in my deck anymore. Bad card. And here is that said professor's research. Seven cards off the top for Travis here, making sure you get all seven. And uh, there's, uh, there's that Avery peeking, in, peeking their head again. Once again, missing the Hyper Potion. We do know the prizes are pretty rough for, for Travis. So yeah, just, just, just missing out. Not everyone can come to the party that often. Uh, this time, you're going to have to leave you know, someone behind. Well, let's, let's at least invite Radiant Gardevoir back to the party. That is going to be a little rough, though, because it does leave another one prizer in play. For Manuel to, you know, snatch up with a boss's orders, maybe. Jeremy, that's a good point. Travis doesn't care. Going to play that down <laughs> anyways. Maybe that just the damage uh, output is uh, that much important on this turn. And I th think that we're getting really close to that spot. Okay. Crystal Cave healed 30. Do we see? All right. Just the rolling iron. You're going to be able to... Take another hit, hopefully, here, and then maybe a, we are, a big moisture we star. We are so close to the moisture star. <laughs> I can feel it. Does it feel wet, Kyle? It is. It is very wet. Hyper Potion going to be the call. Going to take away a couple of these energies. No longer necessary. Goodbye, 12 pips. And that feels lovely for Manuel, I'm sure. Travis going to be mimicking that same thing with a V-Star counter, and uh, that's, that, that's going to be even sweeter. <laughs> <laughs> now we do see the Melanie in hand for Manuel. Uh, we'll be able to attach the energy that was just discarded. Gets to draw three cards, and we see here he basically has everything in play. Uh, you just need to slog through this Gudra, and that's what you're going to try to do. There's the 100 damage with the Rolling Iron, and... Travis, ooh. I think we're going to see it, Kyle. This is what dreams are made of. Round nine, Moisture, Moisture Star. <laughs> Heal all the damage from Hisui and Gujra V-Star. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's what we love to see there. Taking away all those damage counters. 280 damage removed. Hisui and Gujra, put a smile on that face, my friend. You're going to be sticking around for a while. Well, here is healing of Manuel's own, that Crystal Cave yet again. Now there's 180 damage on that Hisuian Gujar V-Star in the active. Still going to be able to take another hit thanks to that big charm. <laughs> this game has been going on for quite a while. I have no idea who's going to win. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm just looking at the resources, and I'm like, oh, man, some boss's orders would be great. You could take a couple knockouts. Uh, Manuel never draws boss's orders. They're just not anywhere They're to not be in the found. Deck. They, they, I think we saw at There's least one in the prizes. One early discard and one on the, the Hisui and Gudra. So I, th I think they just might not be an option. And Travis is going to just have the biggest tank in the game. Hisui and Gooch are lined up. Radiant Gardevoir might be safe. And we do see one of the big differences in, this, in these lists for both players is the Hyper Potion count. Manuel is at two, has already played both of them. Travis is at three, has one in the prizes, still has another one available, although not in hand. All right. Back over to Travis now. Has... The boss's orders of his own in hand. So, of course, eventually we'll be able to pick off some prize cards. 
but right now you're uh, you're focused on the big target there. You have this Hisuian Gudra with the big charm, and you could basically line up the knockout for next turn now with the rolling iron. Oh, right. There is so much damage yet again on that Hisuian Gudra V-Star. And for some reason, you know, just wants to stick around. Maybe it's all the, the slime. I'm, I'm down. <laughs> so this is the big turn that we talk about, where you, you, try to, you try to run away, and you present a threat, and you hope that eventually you can just heal yourself continually with that crystal cave. And the fact that Travis has that boss's orders now means that he can still cash in on a, on a big knockout here, potentially. Again, but yeah, how do you just find all six prizes? It, oh, oh, hyper my. potion off the top. Absolutely crucial here, especially on a turn where you can potentially draw more prize cards. You know that you have hyper potions in the prize cards here. If you cash in on this one, even the, you can honestly just hold it if you want to. But just be, knowing that you have additional resources like that, where you could do a double hyper potion turn, that's exactly what you're looking for. What in? <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> Five goes to two. The, that pip was hiding for a long time. <laughs> Boss's orders does bring up that damage to Sui and Gudra V-Star. And Travis finally gets the first prizes of this game won 25 minutes into the match. <laughs> and I don't think that he saw the other hyper potion. No, there is, it is there. Okay. So. No, it's still in the prizes. Oh, well, it's, the, it's, it's the that top. poke yeah. gear. <laughs> <laughs> that poker gear continues to look like it. Unreal. I'm going to switch those arts for him as soon as this <laughs> game's over. All right. Rolling iron with that fresh Hisuian Gujar V-Star. Travis now in a big debate here. He's going to have to hyper potion. You can attach that double turbo energy, get rid of the extra damage. Yep. 240 down to 210. Still potentially knocked out. So you're going to have to use that Hyper Potion this turn. Now the debate is, do you do it with the double turbo? Do you hold on to that double turbo in case you need to do something wild with an Arceus V-Star or something? Yeah, it is one of the only other attackers you have powered up. Uh, powered up in quotation marks. There's a water energy on it. <laughs> <laughs> That's power, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> oh. We do see the Hyper Potion finally played from Travis here. Is going to discard. Well, you gotta I think the only debate here is do I have at least one water energy in case I need to do Melanie? And I, d I don't know. He may have also just played all of his Melanies. So. Yeah, just the one in the list for Travis. And did not find a good three cards earlier in the game. So. No I remember real. that. <laughs> <laughs> Feels like just yesterday. No, Kyle, it was only just like five turns ago. Oh, but these are long turns. They are. A lot uh, of rolling iron. And speaking of rolling iron, there is the damage on that Hisuian Gudra V-Star, now 70, thanks to that Crystal Cave yet again. Yep. Making good use of the healing there. <laughs> good. Uh -huh. Aha, we did it. And there's a Melanie. Yeah, again, uh, the, the big difference, uh, the Hyper Potion, but also the Melanie count. Manuel does play an extra one. And we see out of the three cards, Ordinary Rod, Marnie, a couple beneficial cards here, but... Yeah, you start to wonder uh, if at some point can you potentially line up another Hisuian Gudra if you know your opponent is potentially out of boss's orders. Can you just retreat on the turn that you'll potentially be knocked out to a brand new one. A lot going on. You kind of have to wonder how many bosses orders Travis has left available to him. Uh, two pokey gear in hand, you know, not hyper potion. Uh, I can I can see where you're coming from though. Like uh, the the way Travis is holding his hand right now. Thank yeah, you. yeah. I can see I can see it. <laughs> uh, so it does give you the option to maybe find those bosses orders and hunt down that Arceus V star to maybe find the hyper potion from the prizes, but now we're just going to see another rolling iron now. 140 damage on the active Hisuian Gudra V-Star. Manuel has the ability to play a Marnie this turn. 
Yeah, Marnie on the turn that your opponent wants to use a Hyper Potion is really nice. And sure enough, perfectly timed there by Manuel now. And I think there's only four cards left in Travis's deck as well. Yeah. <laughs> I guess this is the only time where you do want to shuffle because that's, that's going to be the deck. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, oh, look, S same for Manuel. <laughs> yeah, we are we are down to the nitty gritty. Uh, resources are going to be slim. Knockouts are going to be hard to come by. Once again, rolling iron, putting that Hisuian Gudra V Star to potential KO range. And okay, that is a nice find. Are there enough resources to get another Gudra V Star online? We know there's or are at we least slipping and tripping? one water uh, in the deck, uh, thanks to that Marnie. It's going to be tough. Travis debating here. What do I have left? <laughs> <laughs> what does he have left? Yeah, depending on how many uh, double turbo have been used, maybe use that last boss's orders, bring up someone with two retreat cost that can't really do anything. And you can you can slip and trip and have an awkward promotion where a retreat's necessary. And actually, honestly, I think we've seen Travis's entire deck, and he didn't have a boss's orders in hand, so I don't think there's one left. How how have these players used so many resources yeah, just without us noticing? They've just been following follow. Falling by the wayside. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, time to do a count, and that will be a knockout. 230 damage, I can count, yeah, on the Hisuian Gudra V-Star. Golf claps all around. That is finally a knockout on that Hisuian Gudra V-Star. That, that guy was around for a long time. We saw the Moisture Star, of course. Keep it around. I, I think we saw upwards of 500 damage healed off of that Pokemon <laughs> alone. <laughs> Finally, to the discard pile. Manuel with just one prize guard remaining. Resources are so slim, hard to come by. Travis looking for at least water energy to have some fun. How about a Poke Gear with uh, no supporters in the deck, most likely? Hey, water energy. Oh, yeah. Seven cards left in the deck. Uh, those seven cards aren't going to get you there at all. Uh, the double turbo energy maybe had enough leeway to take the knockout uh, with that Trinity Nova. But then you just have that Arceus V-Star in the active waiting for a double turbo energy of Manuel's own. And I yeah. think with the way the hand shaped up here. This is, this is so tough with uh, just a hard fought, hard fought battle <laughs> for both of these players. So many resources left and uh, uh, just gone now and uh, you're trying to piece together exactly how you're going to win this game and the the only resource that you have left to use is a uh, of research uh, you'd lose yeah <laughs> seven I'd, cards in deck research draws you seven cards you can slip and trip <laughs> and <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> you know if you're gonna lose <laughs> you might as well slip and trip <laughs> slip and trip for zero damage Let's go. That's how we drew it up. That is game number one for Manuel. Shows the boss's orders. Just says, yeah, I, I did have it. He did get a little unlucky, but we were we were going to be moving on to game two either way. Travis showing off that metal Marnie and Hyper Potion still left in the prizes. But hey, if you would have taken some prizes earlier on, you probably could see those a little earlier, huh? Well, <laughs> oh man, this is this is unreal. This is this is there's so much damage going down on this board over and over again. And the, of course, with the reductions and everything that comes into it, it's just it's just so many attacks and trying to plan out the perfect turn where you can heal all of this damage off. It you can you can see how tricky it is. And being able to manipulate the hand was really the one thing that Manuel had over Travis that game. Yeah, and well, just the timely hyper potions as well as you know having access to Arceus V-Star charging up your Gudras. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you, could, you could see the merit to holding out for the Moisture Star. That was that was something that basically kept Travis in the game. And yeah. honestly, if if he didn't prize two Hyper Potions, we might we might have a, a different winner of this of this opening game well, no, here. It was just the one. It's just Travis, you know, couldn't draw the other Hyper Potion. <laughs> Fair. Yeah. <laughs> now, hopefully, for Travis's sake, uh, you get that Arceus down with an energy and, you know, 
an access to the V-Star. Uh, both of these lists are unique in the sense of Arceus is usually paired with something like Inteleon or B-Barrel. These decks are playing neither. Uh, it is more reminiscent of that Arceus Duraludon, and it's been putting in a ton of work. Both these players at 5, 1, and 2, 17 match points, needing this win to make it into day two, and that means it's going to put even more pressure on Travis. You have 16 minutes, just a little over 16 minutes. Is that even enough time to finish a game, let alone two? If your opponent sets up, no. <laughs> uh, that, that, basically, that, that's, how, that's how that goes. There's uh, just so much uh, hit points on the other side of the board, and you're, if you're potentially only dealing 100 damage a turn, that's just not going to cut it. Or, you know you're going to see another 20-turn game, and that just eats all of the time up. So, uh, of course, we know that these decks can be pretty explosive. Any deck that has Arceus V-Star, that's turn two 180 that can just start taking knockouts. Uh, and if there is uh, perhaps a dead hand, then we could see a game three. But it, it's it's a lot to ask in every single mulligan that's at least 30 seconds that you lose, Travis understanding. That is not good news for him. Let's go ahead and look at the eh, medium news. You got one of the Hisui and Gudra V-Star in the prizes. That means you only have access to one for basically the rest of the game with it being up on the top. I, I'd take medium news. Now Manuel is in the beneficial position of already having won the game one. The way time rules work in Pokemon is if you, oh, <laughs> no. if you go into time and you still have not finished game two, the winner of game one will win the match. If it is game three and it goes to time and you're not able to finish, that is a tie. A tie for both of these players knocks them out of day two. You're most likely not going to see that happen here. Uh, both of these players really want to have this Hisui and Gujar V-Star uh, try to put in some work for the next day. I don't, I don't, you know what? I disagree. I think that <laughs> Manuel wants to just mulligan for 15 minutes and go <laughs> to day two. And this is a great strategy here employed by Manuel. Just take shuffle. out all your basics. Yep, just shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Look at the top seven, don't see a basic. And, uh, you know, really exert a lot of pressure from Travis, having to draw an extra card with those mulligans over and over again. Eventually, He's going to get tired, and that's how you end up <laughs> clutching out here in day one. Yeah, I mean... Look at that. <laughs> Look, that was that was rough. <laughs> yeah, what are you going to do with a giant hand? Discard it with Professor's Research? I don't think so. Yeah, there's no way you have turn two Ar Arceus ready to go. <laughs> Those mulligans actually really did help out Travis in getting that turn two Arceus ready to go, finding that Arceus V off the top of the deck, and then with a quick uh, Ultra Ball in hand, can find that V-Star. And <laughs> I'd, I'd like to mention that even with the amazing uh, additional help of four extra cards, he still only got one energy and was left with the same option to do the, uh, the <laughs> discard for the Melanie play. And this time says, you know what, I'm just going to play the energy. <laughs> this, is, this is ridiculous. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you're, you don't really need any other basic Pokemon outside of that Radiant Gardevoir. And you can, you can go fetch that next turn. It'll be fine. Seems fair enough. Also, understand that Manuel is probably going to play a Marnie if he has one. That's kind of what happens when you give your opponent half their deck to start the game. Gonna uh, look for it with the gear. Gonna be a big top seven yeah. here. Yeah. How about a professor's research? Not a bad card. Not necessarily worried about losing a boss's orders just now, especially when you have 13 minutes on the clock. Trying to play a nice long game, too. Oh, Certainly do. some consideration here when you see the evolution yeah. incense. I mean, what are you really going for anyway? YOLO. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Uh, Okay. No way to immediately get the Arceus V-Star next turn. Does have another research to spin the wheel again. Much prefer the art of the Pokegear over on this side. I know <laughs> what that is, and we're going to see it pass of the turn. Oh, Travis, just with next level thinking, knew that Radiant Gardevoir was going to be on the top of the deck, so just didn't play the Quick Ball last turn. Yeah, just draw it. What are you doing? Duh. And then here is that Ultra Ball. Going to be important, discarding a boss's orders with it. Uh, we Go ahead and mention the bad news to the people. Uh, uh, bad news? <laughs> we are not going to see Moisture Star oh, yeah, from no. Travis. Not at game. all, no. 
Sorry, y'all. Right, you yep. know, at home, in here, <laughs> in our hearts. Starbirth. I, I love the clarification there with the point <laughs> to Starbirth. Not enough to just say it, but also to specifically point to it and understand that we are not using Moisture Star right now. Now, with the Starbirth ability, we'll be able to search for any two cards, looking like double turbo energy wow, and just the shows switch. them, too. Yeah. I don't have time for games. <laughs> Except for Pokemon. That is a good game to play. It, great game. Going to see the 180 damage there from the Trinity Nova. And 60. Uh, thank you. There's a Radiant Gardevoir. What if I was getting to that? No, I wasn't. <laughs> Manuel's turn now, and we do see another double turbo off the top. And ooh, this is going to be. Uh, this is actually huge. Uh, yeah, I, I do love the fin here. Just anything to help out, potentially give yourself, get one card closer. Uh, I, don't, I don't even know what you can grab Zacian and just hold it. Yeah, I guess, yeah. I mean, if, if you're in absolute dire straits, you just can Intrepid Stored and, and figure it out. That's not where you want to be, especially with 10 minutes left to go in this game two. A winner is needed here for one of these players to punch their ticket into day two. All right. Poke Gear. This is big. Boss's orders. Avery. Avery. Any other selections? Now it's just going to be the three cards from the Avery to potentially find the Arceus Vista. Are going to just pass on all those? Did, was there another choice in the hand? No, I believe it was just the Professor's Research. So we're going to forego the three cards from Avery and try to find the Arceus V-Star off the seven. All right. Resources are silly. Let's push. Don't mind that at all. See that energy attachment there. Not, not losing too much. Just that double turbo energy. Yeah. Ultra Ball found off the first three cards off this Professor's Research that will be able to grab that Arceus V-Star. Albeit, you're going to have to discard a little bit of extra cards you don't want to. Maybe just the Avery Crystal Cave, maybe? Yep. See the water energy for the Melanie? Always fine to see. Of course, this is going to be looking for that Arceus V-Star, that Starbirth ability. Or hear me out. <sighs> Hisui and Gudra V-Star <laughs> and the Moisture Star ability. You know, I don't know if that's going to help her. <laughs> <laughs> as, as much as I'd love to see it. Oh, I think we're uh, uh, Starbirth for one. <laughs> skipping things a little bit here. Yeah, good old Starbirth for one. So that, ooh, I can take two cards. All right, this is good. This card's broken. <laughs> I, yeah, this is great. Uh, imagine playing Computer Search and, and get, getting to go again. Looks like Switch is going to be, you know, the obvious card found here. Uh, Travis showing it. Last turn, might as well, you know. I got the same thing. Yeah. I think it's pretty intimidating when your opponent just grabs one card off Starbirth. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, man, what's the rest of that hand? <laughs> almost opted for the Crystal Cave with one in hand. I almost want another Gudra. <laughs> like, <Yeah. laughs> I'm kind of done with this one. I want to try again. <laughs> you could just charge up a different one and, and move on. Uh, looks like getting some energies onto it would be the, the choice here, which is kind of scary. Oh, 100%. This uh, is, this is a, a big turn where boss could hurt. And we see a boss's orders in hand for Travis oh, here. Oh, no. And wow. Okay. <laughs> Bring that boy up. Boss's orders will take the knockout. Trinity Nova, yeah, you, you don't need to bring it up to the active. It, it's fine. You know what I'm going to do. Yep. Understandably so. Eight minutes left on the clock. Travis trying to at least make this a game now. It certainly does so. We see the energies from the Trinity Nova onto the Hisuian Gudra V. Two prize cards up into the hand. And Manuel back to square one. At least a knockout online, but we need to see a Gudra. No Pokemon search in hand. Is gonna have to rely off this Marnie here. We'll be able to disrupt Travis a little bit, but again, this is kind of the position Manuel was in game one. You have the the two, three threats basically in play, including that Arceus V-Star, and really just playing off the board while Manuel is the one trying to get things set up, get things going for the end game here. Yeah, Travis said, hey, I liked what you did there. I'm going to do that. Manuel does find the quick ball. 
thankfully. Uh, ooh. Oh, yeah. Uh, looking at the prizes, um, these decks only play a 2-2 two -two Hisuian Gujar V star line. So that Hisuian Gujar V hiding out in the top of the prize cards for Manuel. Now, granted, can't, can technically pick it up with uh, these two prizes, but you're going to have to go digging. Uh, usually, you players tend to take from the bottom here. This is terrifying. <laughs> what, what do you if you if you don't find Hisui Gudra this turn, I don't know if you can buy enough time. And with those prizes taken, I don't think you can either. I don't think Manuel's really gonna take another prize this game. I don't think you want to scoop either. No, you, 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 not at you, all. You can't afford to. There's no way you win a game in six minutes. Unless you're Travis. <laughs> <laughs> Well, there is that first rolling iron, 180 damage onto that Arceus V-Star. Oh. Double turbo is going to be played so you can heal off 120 with the Hyper Potion. Oh, these are just concrete shoes. <laughs> you, you can see the writing on the wall with this strategy. It's just not going to work, but you have to continue to fight and try to work through these six minutes plus three turns. Well, here is a Poke Gear. Going to find another Marnie. Try to disrupt a little bit more. Going to be able to place 160 damage on that Hisuian. Or I guess not 160, 80 damage. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when you do 80, <laughs> and, and there's the potential to be healing with cards like the Hyper Potion, with cards like the Crystal Cave, you aren't going to get the job done. Ooh, the Ordinary Rod. Yeah, just play more cards. Come on, let's go. There's the Gudra. you got to find it to at least get it charged up or something at this point. I think we saw a ton of Quick Balls earlier. I don't know if, if there's anything left in the hand to help out here. If so, it's going to be pretty important to get that Hisuian Gudra V into play so you can get those energy attached to it, hopefully evolve into that V-Star. And we do oh, wow. see a Quick Ball in hand. All right, and yeah, two V-Star. You only need one. <laughs> I think Manuel's going to come to that conclusion. The only thing now is, do you tell your opponent that you have one by discarding it? I don't really know if it matters at this point. I think energies are probably more important, but here we go. Gudra V down. Plenty of energies to charge it up in the deck, it looks like. And there we see that Trinity Nova for 80 damage. And oh now, my wow. goodness, finds the boss's orders. Could put a ton of pressure right now onto the Gudra and going to go ahead and do so. Travis understanding the gravity of the situation, going to go ahead and just get that Pokemon in the active spot. Looking to apply pressure as soon as he can. 200 damage, well 180 once again with that Radiant Gardevoir. And that is a big turn. That's also something to mention is that was the last boss's orders for Travis. Had to discard that one early. He played that one to take the knockout on that other Hisuian Gudra V. And we, we, we might still have a game here. Uh, I mean, the runaway strategies are live. If there's enough energies, then you could just go ahead and run to the, the Arceus V star and uh, Trinity Nova charge back up the Gudra at, at whatever point you need to. Heal with the cave and then try to make one last stand as this is your only Pokemon in play, potentially. Boss's orders brings up that Hisuian Gujar V on the bench, and we're going to see 180 damage. Now, Travis does have a double turbo energy and a couple hyper potions to go along with it. Yep, not the Pokemon that he wants in the active per se, so maybe a decision here. Should see the heal regardless, and that looks like it's going to line up fi just fine. Oh, or there we go, the retreat. retreat. That's perfect, too. You have that Crystal Cave that you can just heal off. I think I like this better, yeah. Quick Ball discards that Zamazenta V, grab an Arceus V. Uh, that's either going to go on the bench or on the bottom, thanks to Marnie. And no, we're actually just going to see a uh, rolling iron here. 100 damage on that opposing Hisuian Gujar V star that much closer to being knocked out. Two and a half minutes here. Game two. <sighs> it, it Round nine. It, it doesn't get much closer than this. <laughs> and it's, and it's, it's wild that it's, be, it's just Travis trying to fight for one match point right now. <laughs> <laughs> that, 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 
it, it, it kind of ruins the gravity of the situation, but it's also <laughs> really cool that he found a way to potentially close, close out this game. There is that evolution incense. Going to look through the deck, uh, we'll be able to find an Arceus V-Star to grab out of there. And I think there was, what, one energy left? Maybe two? Well, if there was one, then that really means that the discard oh, yes. of the Ultra Ball was really rough. Because that is a very important resource. Now, you still have something like Melanie to maybe get an extra energy onto one of these uh, V-Stars in play. But granted, not in hand. The hand for Manuel is utterly terrible. <laughs> There's yes. two V-Stars. So this was a turn where the Gudra could have been knocked out. We we're going to see. Oh, yes, just, yes, the, just one. the one. That extra energy. Is there even a Melanie left? I don't know if we see it. Just over a minute left. And Travis is really just fighting to keep Manuel out of D2. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if my Gudra can't go, no neither one can yours. Can. <laughs> Oh, yes. Well, there is the 180 damage with Rolling Iron. Ultra Ball off the top for Manuel, but there's no card like Crobat Vs uh, to draw with Dark Asset or anything of the like. Both these Pokemon in range of being knocked out. Arceus has a decision to make. Retreat or just deal 80 damage. Going to go ahead and deal the damage. Crystal Cave available. Yep, got to make sure to shuffle. It's not a May. You can get zero, but you still have to shuffle. You will shuffle. And here is the Rolling Iron for the knockout. Travis goes down to two prize cards remaining. And with taking the knockout, three seconds left. Manuel Drew draws the, the card. card. Oh, it's, gonna be it's the Melanie, too. <laughs> going to be turn zero. And this Melanie might just keep... Manuel in the game here. He's, he's at a he's at 160 damage on the active. That, that that's 10 short of a knockout. Gonna have an additional turn there now. They're clarifying the turns. Yes, Manuel is turn zero. There's an escape rope. If there's no boss, yeah, there's I no think, boss left. I think he bought the turn. In. Insane. Manuel can rolling iron here, get that damage reduction up, and take the hit the next turn you escape rope and punch your ticket into day two. Thanks, Manuel. Signifying the turns remain in the game. He is on turn zero, which is going to have just turn two to close things out. Yeah, or Player, players take note. This is really helpful, you yeah, know? Shout out. <laughs> It's not about Manuel closing things out, though. It's about Travis trying to find a way to take game number two with turn one and turn three. Manuel just trying to figure out what the best option here is. Do you just attack now? Get the damage reduction lined up, currently reducing 100. Hey, listen, time's already been called. You're afforded a little extra time to think here, especially in this endgame scenario. And we're going to see that rolling iron yet again. <laughs> Can Travis find a way to take this knockout? I don't think it's possible. Yeah, unless he finds a glaring zigzagoon from a friend. <laughs> I don't know <laughs> if this happens. Just 10 damage short, it seems from being able to take this knockout and force a tie. So many Hyper Potion in hand for Travis, but hasn't needed to even play him this game. Yep, not concerned about being knocked out. Only looking to take the prizes here. And I think you called it with the boss's orders, just not going to be able to promote this Hisuian Gudra back into the active. Oh, Hyper Potion see the Hyper off potion the too. top of the deck. Come on. 
Hyper Potion's a little more awkward just because you wouldn't be able to use Rolling Iron, so I think the Retreat is just... Oh, yeah, no energy or, left. Yeah, the, or just the, uh, the Rope, however you want to get this done. Zacian V, plenty of hit points to absorb a shot from a Rolling Iron. And there is that Crystal Cave. Cleaning up the damage counters a little bit. Yeah. Both of these players are friends to the stream. Yes. I will give them that. Such an elegant round nine. Man, while thinking of everything, doesn't want to awkwardly play into anything here. Th Going this to is the safest route. Yep. Yeah. One prize Pokemon heal. Not concerned about attacking anymore. Just wants to be able to survive. Turn number three here. Even reading Big Parasol for the 13th time <laughs> to see if that would help. Maybe this says, card's effect has Go. changed. Travis now last turn of the game. Last round of day one. And it's looking like things are closing for Travis here in this mirror match. And... And well, no turns left, no energy in play, but it's looking like the match is all sealed up and there is the concession. Man, well, Yora punches their ticket into day two. Hisui and Gujar V-Star, we knew one of them was hopefully gonna make it in unless <laughs> Travis had something to say about it. <laughs> it, it almost got weird. <laughs> Thankfully, <laughs> we did find a winner here. We are going to see Manuel moving on and it's not for a lack of trying from both these players. Travis put on a great show just didn't have the cards to close out and